Okay, so as I was saying, <laughs> Sadie Soberall does a great job of be playing Beatrix. Um, at first, I was a little bit like, eh, because, you know, nothing's wrong with teen actresses, but, like, she's a teenager, and she's the youngest one, and, you know, you can't really picture the youngest one playing the, um, the, the most, um, the most likely to be the, an the antagonist of the show. Um, but she did a great job. Um, she, um, yeah, she's just, she's great. I don't know how to describe how, like, amazing she is at playing Beatrix. Um, <clears throat> she is, you know, she did a perfect job of being, like, the evil girl. Um, and also, you know, the whole time I was watching, like, what is her motivation doing this? Like, why is she doing this? I don't get it. And then realize that she's working with Rosalind. And I, I personally think Rosalind's her mother. But we don't know that. And she was actually raised by Andreas. Who is Skye's father. Um, which is a little bit of a twist. Um, but yeah. She was a great character. I loved her. Yeah. And then. Riven. I hate Riven. Both in the cartoon and live action. He's a jerk. Freddie Thorpe did a great job of playing Riven, don't get me wrong, obviously. Um, all the act actors did a great job, but <clears throat> um, I hate Riven. He's mean, he's a jerk, I hate him. Um, I mean, he's hot. I won't deny that, but, you know, he's mean. And that's all I have to say about Riven. Silva. I had a sketchy feeling about Silva from the start. I was like, eh. Silva does sit right with me about this guy, and... I was right. He attempted the murder of killing Sky's dad. And, you know, I just thought, like, like, I just had a feeling there was something sketchy about him. I don't like him. Um, you know, he is very, he's very controlling. And, yeah, I just don't like him at all. He's very old protective of Sky, which, if you didn't know, Silva is Sky's father figure. Um, <clears throat> Um, Dowling. Dowling was kind of off and on because, you know, um, in the cartoon, she's based off Farragonda, and in the cartoon, Farragonda was trying to keep, um, Bloom's past and her destiny away from her so that Bloom could figure it out herself, and she did this in a live action as well, but she did it in a way, in a way that everyone, including me, thought she was lying or, like, purposely trying to cause get Bloom into trouble, um, my family's yelling, I'm so sorry, <laughs> there's a football game on, anyways, um, yeah, she, um, huge plot twist at the end, she dies, Rosalind kills her, so, you know, we're most likely not gonna see her in season two unless something crazy happens, um, yeah, she was, you know, she just wasn't my type of character, I just, I didn't really like her, um, I don't really, I don't even like Farragonda in the cartoon. She's really annoying. Um, yeah, Dowling, she was better than Farragonda, I must say. But, you know, she didn't do, she wasn't really like, I don't know. She, she seemed to, to lie a lot. So, um, I was like, is she a villain? Is she a bad person? Like, no, she's not a bad person. She's just trying to protect Bloom. But, um... But yeah, there was, it was definitely, um, it definitely crossed a lot of people's minds that maybe she, she was a bad guy. Um, and Eve, Eve Best did a great job of playing her as well. Um, Dane. I was, I'm mad because I was so excited for Dane. Because, you know, I thought he was based off Timmy, which, I mean, he kind of is. Um, but being, like, the nerd and stuff, but, um... And I love Timmy. Timmy's one of my favorite characters of Wings Club. He's so underrated. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> ever since when he opened his mouth and started laughing and the first scene he was introduced, I was like, this guy's a jerk. And he was a jerk. Um, he, you know, took interest in Tara and then ghosted her and made fun of her um, while he was, like, high or drunk or something. And he's very obviously bisexual. Because he likes Tara and possibly Beatrix, and he also liked Driven. Um, people say it was queer baiting. It's not queer baiting. It's he's 
bisexual. It's not. It would be queer baiting if he was straight. That would be queer baiting. But it's not. He's He did actually have romantic interests in Riven and vice versa, I think, too. So. And, like, like the tension between them. But whatever. I hate Dane. <laughs> um, well, we don't hate them, but yeah. Harvey. I, just, I don't remember his first name, but I think it was, like, Jake or something like that. But he's Tara and Sam's dad. Um, he was okay. I mean, I didn't really have any strong opinions towards him. Um, you know, he seems like a sweet person. Um, besides what he locked Tara in her dorm. Um, but yeah, he seems like a sweet person. He heals everyone or takes care of them. Yeah. Um, Sam. Um, Sam was more a secondary character. Um, and he, his powers weren't used a lot, and I don't know why they call him an earth fairy. He can, he can all, you can walk through walls, that's what he can do. Like, he's not an earth fairy. Um, and, I mean, technically he is, but I don't really consider him that. Um, but yeah, Sam, he was, he was a sweet, sweet guy, I liked him. Um, he's very, he almost died, which, you know, was, was, you know, emotional to watch. Um, because, like, he was striked by a burned one. Um, and I remember the scene, he was walking out of the wink suite, because he heard something. I was like, no, don't go, it's, it's the scene, it's the scene where he's gonna get attacked by a burned one, because, because Netflix Thailand spoiled that before it came out, that he would possibly die, but he didn't, thanks to Musa. Um, Vanessa. I have mixed feelings about her, because... In the beginning, I hated her, but in the end, I kind of liked her because, you know, um, I'm, yeah, I have mixed feelings about her because she is, um, she took away Bloom's privacy by removing her door, and she was very mean to her, calling her a loner and things like that just for being herself, which, you know, was very mean, and, and, you know, but I think at the end of the day, she really loves Bloom and wants the best for her. Um, and she's proud of Bloom. In the ending scene, the ending scene with her, Bloom, and Mike, and the other Winks, I, I cried. It was so it was so emotional. Um, Queen Luna, I despise her. She is like <clears throat> a Karen. <laughs> she's a Karen. Um... She took Stella out of school because, I forget why, it was because, like, she wasn't, like, learning enough or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, she took Stella out of school and she wouldn't let her say go out her friends. Um, yeah, she was just a mean person. I did not like her at all, but Kate, Kate Fleetwood, yeah, Kate Fleetwood did a great job of playing her. And also, also with Vanessa and Sam, their actors did a great job playing them. Rosalind. Rosalind was a... You know, it, it in the in one of the episodes, it was like who's telling the truth, and Rosalind had to do with that because like is Rosalind the bad guy? Is Rosalind not the bad guy? Because you know she rescued Bloom and I think Beatrix too. But um, but yeah, she is a villain. I think she's based off Valtor because you know, in the cartoon, Valtor was supposedly the only person that. Bloom could, you know, find her parents, and I think in live action that's true as well, because, you know, Dowling's dead, Silva got arrested, and Rosalind's the only person left, um, that Bloom could see where her parents are, and, um, but she is the villain, but we didn't get, to, but she didn't really get introduced till the end, um, and, she, um, yeah, because she decided to kill all the burned ones, no matter the cost, which means they killed the kingdom of Astrodale, and there was, um, and she said there was something to do with the witches, um, I'm assuming these are the, the tricks or the ancestral witches, but I don't think the tricks would be 16 years older than Bloom, so, um, 
I think there would just be older versions of the tricks, um, like the ancestral witches, but with the tricks names. Um, that's what I think will happen in season two, but I'm really excited to see that because they were mentioned at the end, so. And that balloon was kidnapped, supposedly. Um, uh, Mike. He didn't appear that much. He seems kind of like, oh, listen to your mother type of dad. He didn't really do much. Um, Stella and Sky. This relationship is so toxic. This is one of the only things I didn't like about the show is that uh, I just, I was just like, oh, let's end their relationship already. It was very toxic and, um, Stella just really depended on him for her happiness and Sky was sick of it and Stella dumped him over the summer, which is really toxic. I did not like their relationship at all. But they did have a cute, some cute moments. The burned ones. Um, I think the burned ones are the people from, of Astrodale. Or Domino. or Well, in the love action, it's called Astrodale, but it's Domino. Anyways. Um, yeah, I think they were the people of Astrodale. And, or something. But it was kind of weird because they... <clears throat> They killed the people, they, they killed, they were, they're, bleh. their objective was to kill the burned ones that were in Astrodale. So, you know, I don't really know what it was. Maybe they're like minions of the, of the witches or something. Um, but yeah, in this universe, witches do exist. It was confirmed, so. Um, Astrodale. Astrodale is obviously Domino slash Sparks. Um, and instead of a huge kingdom, it's rather a small town. Or at least that's what the actually i don't really remember was it a small town or a kingdom i don't know but um beatrix is from there as well i actually have a theory that beatrix and bloom are sisters you know they both have red hair they're both from asterdale i don't know just that it just it, seems, it may seem to make sense that they would be sisters like a plot twist type of thing um but like i don't know because i also think that rosalind is beatrix's mom because they have the same powers and they're working together, but like like Bloom said in the I don't know the third second or third episode, she said that girl Rosalind looks too old to be my mother. So, and the actress is sixty in real life. So I mean, yeah, I don't think Rosalind is Beatrix's mother, but um, I do think Bloom and Beatrix are sisters. Um. Bloom and Sky. I definitely like this version of Bloom and Sky way better than the cartoon. They have much more chemistry. They're a lot more mature. They um, have a lot more sweet moments rather than just because. Rather just because in the cartoon they had to be they had to be together because they're the main groups of or they're, they're the leaders of their groups. Um, and they had little to no chemistry in the cartoon. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Or, that's my opinion. They had, like, very little chemistry in the cartoon. But in the live action, they had a lot of chemistry. And, yeah. Musa and Sam. These two are adorable. I love these two. Um, yeah, they're very adorable together. They didn't have that much screen time. I think their relationship moved a little fast. But, I mean, after they were, like, in a confirmed relationship, they were really adorable. And I love the scene... Sorry, I burped. Where Musa told Tara that she was dating him, and and they hugged, and it was so sweet. Tara and Dane. These two were. Um, I thought they were cute at first. I was like, oh, they're so cute, and then I realized T Dane is a jerk, and Tara didn't deserve him. Um. Yeah, <clears throat> I really hope that I really hope they don't end up together, um, in season two. Beatrix and Riven, these two were made for each other. They're evil and, and cunning and, yeah, and manipulative. Yeah, they're they're really made for each other. Um, they're, they're really cute. Riven and Dane, these two have a lot of tension. And I really hope they solve this love triangle in season two. Because these two have a lot of chemistry together. Um, and... Yeah, I just, I ship them so hard, even though I hate both of them. <laughs> um, and the transformations. Um, I, when, I, when it first came out, I watched the first episode, and then I went to the sixth episode to see if there would be transformations, and lo and behold, there was, but only one, probably because of budget, but Bloom got wings, and it was 
such a plot twist because you know they're being very secretive about it um and the transformation was very cool very nostalgic even though she didn't get a fairy form besides wings it was very nostalgic just like the motions and stuff and yeah it was a really really cool moment um but the one thing i will critique about is the pacing because there were six episodes they reach about an hour long which gives it only six hours for the plot to kind of you know go ahead i thought it went a little too fast obviously but um yeah, I thought it went too fast, which is probably why people are, one of the reasons people are demanding for season two. And I'm very happy that Fate has the success that it's having. Um, I really thought, <laughs> I was really having doubts about it, like, oh, this is, this is gonna flop. Um, and then, uh, I, because I remember bef way before the trailer came out, I was like, I just have a feeling this show is gonna be a big thing, and lo and behold it is. Well, not as huge as, like, Riverdale or something like that, but, you know, it's pretty big right now. Um, like, in the moment. Um, so, yeah, that was my review on Fate. I definitely recommend you watch it, especially if you like fantasy shows. Um, it is a lot more similar to Winx than I thought, but it's still not really similar enough to call it Winx. Um, I, th I think they should have said I was inspired instead of based on, but, yeah. That's my review on Fate the Week Saga. I'll see you, I don't know.